Genuverum, Wikipedia Audio Genuverum, is a varus deformity marked by bowing at the knee, which means that the lower leg is angled inward in relation to the thigh's axis, giving the limb overall the appearance of an archer's bow. Usually medial angulation of both lower limb bones is involved. If a child is sickly, either with rickets or any other ailment that prevents ossification of the bones, or is improperly fed, the bowed condition may persist. Thus the chief cause of this deformity is rickets. Skeletal problems, infection, and tumors can also affect the growth of the leg, sometimes giving rise to a one-sided bow-leggedness. The remaining causes are occupational, especially among jockeys, and from physical trauma, the condition being very likely to supervene after accidents involving the condyles of the femur. Children until the age of 3 to 4 have a degree of genuverum. The child sits with the solace of the feet facing one another, the tibia and femur are curved outwards, and, if the limbs are extended, although the ankles are in contact, there is a distinct space between the knee joints. During the first year of life, a gradual change takes place. The knee joints approach one another, the femur slopes downward and inward towards the knee joints, the tibia becomes straight, and the sole of the foot faces almost directly downwards. Causes While these changes are occurring, the bones, which at first consist principally of cartilage, are gradually becoming ossified. By the time a normal child begins to walk, the lower limbs are prepared, both by their general direction and by the rigidity of the bones which form them, to support the weight of the body. Blunt's disease is a deformity in the legs, mostly from the knees to the ankles. The affected bone curves in or out and forms the usual archer's bow which can also be called bow legs. There are two types of Blunt's disease. The first type is infantile, this means that children under 4 are diagnosed with this disease. Blunt's disease in this age is very risky because sometimes it is not detected and it passes to the second type of Blunt's disease. The second type of Blunt's disease is found mostly in older children and in teenagers, sometimes in one leg and sometimes in both, the patient's age determines how severe the diagnosis is. Generally, no treatment is required for idiopathic presentation as it is a normal anatomical variant in young children. Treatment is indicated when it persists beyond three and a half years old. In the case of unilateral presentation or progressive worsening of the curvature, when caused by rickets, the most important thing is to treat the constitutional disease, at the same time instructing the caregiver never to place the child on its feet. In many cases this is quite sufficient in itself to effect a cure, but matters can be hastened somewhat by applying splints. When the deformity arises in older patients, either from trauma or occupation, the only permanent treatment is surgery, but orthopedic bracing can provide relief. Treatment for children with Blunt's disease is typically braces but surgery may also be necessary, especially for teenagers. The operation consists of removing a piece of tibia, breaking the fibula and straightening out the bone, there is also a choice of elongating the legs. If not treated early enough, the condition worsens quickly. In most cases persisting after childhood, there is little or no effect on the ability to walk. Due to uneven stress and wear on the knees, however, even milder manifestations can see an accelerated onset of arthritis. Childhood Blunt's disease Diagnosis Treatment Blunt's disease 2 Prognosis <laughs>